today in continuation with the previous lecture we will see timer counter programming part 2 myself sudhakar barbade assistant professor electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe key features of 8051 timer counter and its programming contents here we will see timer counter mode 1 next we will see programming timer counter using polling method and programming timer counter using interrupt method so these are the two methods to use timer and counter this is what the diagram of how the timer counter in mode 1 works so here is a input from previous stage is given to the uh, timer registers tlx with 8 bit thx with 8 bits and this is what after uh, all the bits of this 16 bit timer rolls from 1 to 0 tfx will be generated and after that interrupt is generated so basically this mode is similar to mode 0 except for the fact that both timer 0 and timer 1 are used as a 16 bit up counter so instead of 13 bit with mode 0 here mode 1 uses 16 bit up counting and the 16 bit counter can hold values between 00000 to ff ffh so the maximum count in hexadecimal the 16 bit register can hold is ff ffh so this is loaded in tlx x stands for here either of a timer 0 register or timer 1 register if, if x is 0 then it is a th0 tl0 means timer 0 register and if x is 1 this is a timer 1 register and the formula for finding the initial count to which is to be loaded in into this tlx and th, uh, tlx is uh, same as the previous one that is time delay equal to final count minus initial count plus 1 multiplied by timer clock period programming timer in mode 1 see how the calculation of initial count it is also called as reload value here calculation of timer 0 reload value in mode 1 needed to achieve timer delay of 100 microsecond assume at oscillator frequency is 11.0592 megahertz so here the final count is since it is a 16 bit the final count is ff ffh in hexadecimal if you convert into decimal it comes out to be 65535 if you put this value final count into this equation initial count we have to find out time delay is uh, 100 microsecond and uh, timer clock period is already we have discussed with this crystal the timer clock period becomes 1.085 into 10 raised to minus 6 so these values are put here and from this initial count is found initial com count comes out to be 65443.84 which must be rounded to the nearest integer and uh, it comes 65444 if you convert this into hexadecimal 6b24h so the timer 0 should be loaded with value uh, 6b in th0 and 24 in uh, tl0 here we are discussing programming of timer 0 in mode 1 this is the example 1 using polling method the algorithm for polling method already we we have discussed in the uh, programming part 1 that's why we directly write here program this is a function to generate 100 microsecond delay using timer 0 as we see here this t mod value is to be loaded with 0 1 because we are using mode 1 here 
then uh, TL0 and TH0, these values already we have found we just now, these are loaded. Then timer is started by using this instruction, uh, set BTR0. And you wait for this uh, counter to overflow from all ones to all zeros. And then TF0 flag will be set. So we should wait here till this TF0 is set. And once it is set, that means timer is overflowed. And then again, we stop the counter by using this instruction CLRTR0. Clear, we clear the overflow flag. And uh, this is done to uh, again uh, restart the counting. Here, we will discuss programmer in mode one using interrupt method. So this is what the implemented for interrupt method programming. The interrupt method makes use of a register called interrupt enable register, IE register. Interrupt enable register bit addressable. And uh, this is what the format of uh, IE register. Here EA, ES, ET1, EX1, ET0, and EX0. With related to our timer, ET0 is a timer interrupt related with timer zero and ET1 is a timer interrupt related with uh, timer one. And this is uh, en enabling the interrupt in a system. The ISR corresponding to interrupts are executed when the TFX flags of respective timers are raised. If you are programming in C, then we require this interrupt number. For timer zero, it is one, and for timer one, it is three. After execution of ISR, controller returns to whatever it was doing earlier. So ISR is executed only when interrupt is occurred, and after completing this ISR, the processor continues where it was stopped. Now, let us have a question. What will be the hex code of IE register to enable timer zero in interrupt mode? You pause the video and answer the question. You might have thought over the question. And the answer is, to enable the interrupt, this bit must be one. These are don't care. So for don't care, we assume zero. So it is one, zero, zero. This is also zero. This is related with the timer one. And since we are using timer zero, so this is also zero. This is also zero. But this must be one because we are enabling timer zero for interrupt. So this must be one and this must be also zero. So this comes out to be one, zero, 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 one, zero. That means this is eight, two. Programming timer in mode one using interrupt method. So these are the steps, or we can say it is an algorithm. This is an algorithm to implement interrupt method of programming timer. To generate a time delay using timer in mode one, following are the steps using interrupt method. Load the TMOD value register indicating which timer is to be used. Load registers TLX and THX with initial count value. Enable the timer interrupt by passing the hex value to IE register. Start the timer with set B TRX instruction. So, difference is here we are using this interrupt uh, enable register. Then last is write interrupt service routine for the timer interrupt. Here while writing interrupt service routine, we should uh, uh, take care of these two constraints. If the timer has to be stopped after once the interrupt has occurred, the ISR must contain the statement to stop the timer. Means if you want to execute the delay only once, then uh, uh, timer must be stopped at the end of the ISR. And if uh, ISR for timer interrupt has to be repeated again and again, the timer run bit need not be cleared timer will start updating from 0000H and not to the initial value in case of mode 0 and mode 1. So the initial value must be reloaded in the interrupt service routine. So here what we should do is, 
we should every time load the uh, counter values in a counter registers in a ISR. This is what the C program for programming timer 0 in mode 1. Use of timer 0 in mode 1 for blinking LED with interrupt method. What we have done is, uh, here uh, LED is connected to port 1, 0 8 pin, and this LED should blink with some delay, and that delay program we are writing here. Here what we should do is, you analyze the program and find the time delay generated. Assume oscillator frequency is 11.0592 megahertz. So here, uh, program is written, and uh, by observing the program and then I analyzing the program, you must find out the time delay. So let us see the first the program. Here, this is a main program, hash include eg51.h, include file is there. Then uh, we are declaring this uh, p1.0 port 1 0th bit pin as a LED variable assigned to this is LED of type S bit. Then interrupt service routine. Since the address of interrupt service routine related with uh, timer 0 is 1, we are writing here interrupt 1. And ISR name is timer. And here, what we have done is just stated with the LED variable is complemented here. So the new value of the LED will be complement of the previous LED value. So this is a interrupt service routine. And this is what the main program. Here, uh, the TMOD is loaded with a hexadecimal value 0, 1 because we are using timer uh, 0 in mode 1. TH0 initial value we have not found, but it is loaded 0, 0. Here also 0, 0. That means TL0 and TH0 values are 0, 0. So from this information, we should find out how much time delay we get. And IE value is uh, 8, 2. Already we have found how to find out the value of this uh, IE register. Then timer is started by this and uh, this is to be repeated forever. That's why uh, this while infinite while loop is used. Now if you look at the analysis of the program, what we require is to find out uh, how much time delay we get this is known to us, final count, since it is a 16-bit counting. Mode 1 means 16-bit counting. Final count is 65,535 minus initial count. Here it is given, that is 0 and plus 1 timer clock period. So from this, we get a time delay of 71.1 millisecond. So these are references for preparing these slides the 8051 microcontroller architecture, programming and applications by Kenneth Ayla. And second is the 8051 microcontroller and embedded system by Muhammad Ali Mazdi. Thank you.